And now, renowned chef Tom Douglas interviews Tom Douglas. Tom, Chef Douglas, author extraordinaire, um, spice rub magician. Thank you so much for being here. A James Beard Award winner three times, Iron Chef winner. Your accolades precede you. Well, thanks for having me today. Who knew I was going to be interviewed by such a famous chef, a celebrity chef, no less, because uh, celebrity chefs, they are the best chefs. They know how to cook better than anybody else. And so um, I'm, I'm glad that you saw fit to spare a little bit of your time for me today. So the word on the street is, or rumor has it, as Adele would say, you might run for mayor. I wouldn't, don't think I would run for mayor, but I certainly have a few opinions on what I would do as mayor. Uh, number one is I would make every day Seattle Coconut Cream Pie Day. Everybody would have to have a bite of coconut cream pie because from my experience, every time someone takes a bite of that pie, it puts a smile on their face. And with the lack of sunshine we have around here, a smile could do a lot to brighten up the world and especially the world here in Seattle. So uh, first thing I would do as mayor is make it mandatory that with your coffee, with your Starbucks in the morning, you had to have a bite of coconut cream pie. What else would you do as mayor? I would go out to dinner. Is that it? And, and I would reinstitute the three martini lunch. Is that all you got? Is that all your game? And dinner. So basically what I mean by that is that typically when I was growing up in the restaurant business, businessmen would come in and have a three martini lunch. Uh, they would start at about one o'clock and then they would have their last martini about 4.35 and then they would, they would order dinner. That's the way business should get done and does get done. So if you want to reach across the aisle, you should be drunk doing it. Can't believe you just said that. <laughs> I know you use a lot of spices. What's your favorite spice? Sporty, scary, ginger, baby, or posh? My favorite spice is Old Spice, the deodorant, because I like the commercials. That dude is amazing. In all your years, is there any food that you've cooked that you would never cook with again? Most things that I haven't cooked, I, I have no interest in cooking, like, like the the Philippine, uh, what is that called, the, the kind of the bird that's uh, already been formed in its shell and then you'll eat it like a half-grown half bird. And, uh, uh, no, it's not for me. It's balut, dummy. Balut, that's right. The thing I like to cook most is duck in all sorts of ways. Uh, that's a question that comes up over and over and over. What's your favorite thing to cook? You know, I'm terrified of what, what my last meal is going to be. I feel like as a, as a chef that everyone's going to want to know once I kick the bucket, what was his last dinner? It's always a question. What was your last dinner? Yeah, I got it. Ah, continue. And so I, every time I go on an airplane, I think I can't eat this food because I don't want it to be said that my last dinner was a Delta Airlines from Atlanta to Dallas, and it was some sort of crappy, undistinguishable nonsense on a plate. And so I don't eat the food just because of that. I'd rather eat like pepper farm goldfish or something uh, before I would eat that dinner. Uh, so. Uh, uh, but duck, I like duck in every way, and if it's my last meal, I'd be, a, I'd be happy to have that on my, my epitaph. Chef Tom, you've been inspiring, remarkable. You're more handsome than your pictures. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs>